In fact, I'm almost thinking what we need is a Jesse Smollett 2020. What's up, you guys? So I was just listening to The Breakfast Club, Olivia Pope, heh, episode, um, and I'm, I'm going to respond. DJ MV was like, what would you do to get Jesse Smollett back if I was his PR whiz? Public relations. The good thing about public relations is it's way easier than regular relations. All Jesse has to do, and everyone will forgive him, all he has to do is say, I'm not trying to get a ticket, you know what I mean? It's still black out here. All he has to, oh, see. All he has to do. All he has to do is say that he was doing it because, you know what, he wanted more attention. Yeah, on himself. Sure. But he also wanted more attention on the realness of the issue. To make it real. One thing he said in his interview on Good Morning America, he was like, the truth is here, you just don't want to see the truth. He wanted to help people see the truth. Did he go about it the right way? Is he entitled? No. But isn't it, isn't, isn't that exactly what protest is about? Standing up for things the only way you can think up? He's an actor. He created a scene. Sure, he cost a few thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousand dollars, which he doesn't even make, by the way. And he'll pay that back, though. But he didn't cost lives. And lives are being cost already every day. In fact, I'm almost thinking what we need is a Jesse Smollett 2020 mayoral run in Chicago. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Poked out, see a breakfast club. That's how you do it. That's how you do it.